to be fair, it's testament to Pete that he, I think he just got back from holiday a couple of nights before I had asked him to um, come in and click at me, so um, yeah, and he was more than happy to do so. I found both the coaches and the players that I was uh, training with um, helped me develop every single day. Um, and you know, is a is a big reason why I've, I've been able to get back into that fold. Um, you know, soon after joining Knox. You know, it's exciting to have that mix of guys that haven't done it before, and it's the guys that have been there and had success as well. So hopefully, we can kind of gel together as a group and um, yeah, achieve something special. So Haseeb, it's um, a week or so until you fly out to Australia. Now, what are your emotions ahead of the big trip? Not excited. Um, we've been back in over the last couple of weeks, um, training um, individually and as a group. So um, it's been nice to see the boys again, um, and and yeah, just the general feel within the group has been um, a lot of excitement and looking forward to hopefully lots of good winter. It'll be a winter of competitive cricket as well. How useful do you think that'll be to to keep that kind of mentality going over the winter rather than maybe stepping away from it until till next season with knots? Yeah, absolutely. I think. Um, you know, last couple of years I've had the opportunity to work on my game um, at home here with the Knotts coaches, which has been uh, lovely. But to to have a winter of competitive cricket now is is exciting again. Um, so um, no, really looking forward to it. Hopefully we can, um, you know, our season's not finished uh, too long ago, so we can just kind of continue from where we've um, left off and um, and yeah, um, kind of build on what we've started um, as a group in that in the India series. In terms of the the India series, I know. Pete has mentioned before about being in international cricket that it can be that second go at international cricket where you really feel like you've arrived a little bit more. Did you feel the experience was different this time compared to your, your breakthrough with England? Yeah, certainly. I think um, you know that first experience I was very young and it, it was all played away from home. So um, to have that first home series here, obviously a lot older. Um, more mature, I'd say, um, as a player um, and obviously as a person as well. You, you grow and you develop over the years. So, um, so yeah, it was it was exciting. It was um, it was a whole host of emotions, I'd say. Um, but um, overall, yeah, very very pleased to have played a home uh, first home series. Um, and yeah, something to to build on. And I know you've been working with Pete here in the past couple of weeks as well. How useful is that? Maybe to work with a coach who you've known for so long ahead of this assignment. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, I think, uh, to be fair, it's testament to Pete that he, I think he just got back from holiday a couple of nights before I had asked him to um, come in and flick at me. So, um, yeah, and he was more than happy to do so. So, um, so yeah, I mean, he's someone that I trust with my game and, um, yeah, I've enjoyed working with, for, um, you know, more, a lot more closer over these last couple of years. Um, and, and, yeah, I just, I think it just makes sense for me to continue that um, leading up to the winter. Yeah, and I know, I think Kevin Shine has mentioned before, in general, when he arrived at Knotts, he was kind of struck with the level of training, the kind of international level that a lot of the, the group was operating at anyway. Do you feel like that's helped to kind of minimise any gap there might be to, to head into the test team? For sure, yeah. I think, um, again, um, the environment that the coaches have created here um, is about excelling and it's not just about the level that we're going to be competing at, it is about producing players for the next level So um, and the club. You know, don't hide that or don't shy away from that at all. So, um, yeah, I mean, the club's got a history of producing players for that go on to play for England, um, and I know there's an ambition to for that to continue. So, um, yeah, definitely, I found the same. I found the, both the coaches and the players that I was uh, training with um, helped me develop every single day, um, and you know, is a is a big reason why I've I've been able to get back into that fold. Um, you know, soon after joining Knotts. What sort of challenges did it pose this summer in the Test Arena? Maybe different to, to scoring runs for knots to get those 50s for England in the Test Arena. What differences did, did, did that bring, really? Of course, I mean, you know, there's different challenges at the level, um, at the two levels. I think, you know, domestically, we all know um, there's, um, you know, there's a certain challenge in terms of playing guys that bowl between, say, you know, 80 and 85 miles an hour, but are very good at, um, hitting lengths and, and move the ball both ways with the pitches that are generally produced over the course of the season. Um, whereas at the higher level, you've got guys that bowl slightly quicker than that, um, but the wicket's also better, so that balances it out a little bit as well. But um, but yeah, I mean, I think they're two different challenges. Um, so like you said, I think it was nice for me to go from 
um, having done well in one, in one challenge to, to then you know, test myself out against um, you know, one of the best bowling attacks in the world um, in our home conditions. Um, in a fascinating series, a highly intense and a hardly fought series. Um, and to have come away with a couple of scores, opening, opening the batting, has, has been pleasing. And now it is, of course, the challenge of Australia. Plenty of members of the Knotts dressing room, whether players or coaches, have, have performed for England, have performed in the Ashes as well. I suppose Stuart Broad, the person that first comes to mind, of course. Yeah. Is, is there anything that you can learn off those guys who've maybe been out to Australia or faced Australia here that you can take into the winter? Absolutely. I think for guys like myself who haven't you know, played in Ashes series or um, you know, I've been to Australia as part of the 19 tour, but um, yeah, not really a series of this magnitude. I think it's important for us to, um, you know, have those conversations with guys like Brody, who, you know, I know would be so willing to share his knowledge and experiences, um, and any information that we can get before we go out there, or even when we're out there in the build-up to the first Test match, um, is extremely valuable to us. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I'll be looking to pick their brains. Um, I've already had conversations with someone like uh, Jimmy last week when I was with him. So. Um, so yeah, I think it's you know it's exciting to have that mix of guys that haven't done it before, and obviously guys that have been there and had success there as well. So hopefully we can kind of gel together as a group and um, yeah achieve something special. Australian crowds bring their own distinct flavour as well, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's obviously renowned, um, but it's all part of the package. It's what you play the game for. It's um, you know it's why you you look forward to touring to different places, uh, different cultures. Um, and yeah, it's one that I'm, you know, both myself and the team looking forward to. And I know when we, we talk to a lot of the, the guys in the group about formative cricketing memories, 05 comes up a lot, Flintoff comes up a lot with the fast bowlers. I don't know if there were sort of formative Ashes memories for you that, that may be sticking in your mind as you, as you head into this winter. Yeah, of course, obviously Freddie had a massive impact on, you know, every kind of kid in the country at that at that stage, the things that he was doing was remarkable and um, yeah, definitely inspired a generation, um, not only of bowlers but of cricketers. Um, and then obviously you've got Kevin Peterson who um, likewise obviously burst onto the scene, you can say, in that 2005 Ashes series. Um, and then, you know, made himself one of the best players in the world for a, for a long period of time. Um, so, of course, there's guys that have been there and done it and um, the Ashes is where a lot of them, you know, made their name um, initially. So. Um, so yeah, there's plenty of guys that we can kind of look up to and um, that have inspired us over the years for sure. Wish you all the best with it this winter. Cheers, cheers, man. Thank you.